Good day to all. Welcome to Extreme Recap. The first scene of the movie takes place in a small town, where Dell breaks into a house. He eliminates every one of the batteries from the electronic gadgets and keeps them with him. Then, in a stunning turn, he tidies up the whole house as though it were his own prior to leaving. Additionally, he steals a picture from the owners. Dell spray paints the street in front of the house as soon as he gets outside. Right now, similar notices indicate that Dell has already broken into several other houses on the street. Dell accepts that he is the keep going individual life on the planet. An obscure reason is obviously cleared out the whole populace, letting our hero be in miserable to adapt to his isolation, he is sunk into an extremely uncommon daily practice. Dell lives in the library where he used to work and takes extraordinary consideration of the books, it are efficient and safeguarded to ensure that they. To support himself, he assembles food from general stores. Since there are still a lot of fish in the lakes, he has also taken up fishing as a hobby. Most importantly, he goes house to house every day, brings all of the books back to the library, cleans them up, gathers any photos, and gathers anything useful, like batteries and gasoline for his truck. He additionally makes a point to check every one of the houses he has previously visited one day during his day-to-day -day daily practice. Dell breaks into a house and finds two dead bodies. Without a second thought, he wraps them up firmly with a bed sheet. He resented loading the bodies into his truck after this. After that, he drives to a field, drags the dead to an empty grave, and at night, he buries them in the ground. As Dallas resting in his room, he is surprised conscious by a noisy blast rapidly getting a move on. He sees fireworks in the distance as he looks out the window. This shows that another person is likewise present in the town. Notwithstanding, since it is as of now dull, Dell is excessively terrified to go up against whatever lies there. He just returns to rest, it isn't anything perilous to trust it. Out there, that might have been Shakira. Delays was rummaging for supplies the following morning when Delve once more hears something strange. This time, an automobile alarm has gone off. Chime finds the vehicle and notification that it is collided with a wall. At the point when he gradually moves toward it, he is stunned to find a young lady lying oblivious controlling everything. Shakira, the back seat also has a gun. Grace, the young woman, wakes up in the following scene and finds herself in her bedroom with a bandage covering her head. She gets nauseated and tries to open the door, but she finds that it is locked. Dull knocks on the door when she starts yelling for assistance but does not open it. He asks if she was accompanied by anyone else and why she was carrying a gun. Grace responds by stating that she has not seen anyone else and that she discovered the gun while traveling. She only kept it for safety's sake. Be that as it may, regardless of the clarification, Dallas distrustful ever. Grace wonders why she can't smell the dead bodies, which is why he decides to send her away at first sight. Also, Ellen structures her that he is as of now. Covered them. He then asks her to leave and hands her the keys to the car. Grace, however, wants to remain with him. She is frightened that she could pass on from appetite or sickness. Dell, on the other hand, simply declines her request and leaves. Grace can later be seen quietly following Dell throughout the city. She even watches him as he fishes. She eventually follows him back to the library and offers to assist him in locating the town's deceased. This at last changes, dulls psyche, and he imparts his food to her. When she gets some information about the unexpected vanishing of individuals, he will not take part in easygoing discussion or examine speculations about the reason for the end times. Nonetheless, the relentless young lady continues to mark. She asks Della. He has at any point felt forlorn, to which she answers that it doesn't make any difference to him, since he has forever been desolate since his introduction to the world hearing, his chilly reactions, effortlessness understands that he isn't keen on friendship and chooses to leave, however as she arrives at the vehicle. Dahl has an unexpected shift in perspective. He rapidly approaches. Solicits her consent to remain with him. Grace accepts right away and dashes inside the library right away. This might stamp whenever a curator first has at any point gotten laid. She moves into the same room that Dell took her to the day of her accident the following day. While cruising all over, Dell sees effortlessness heading towards a territory which he hasn't cleared at this point. Concerned, he approaches her and stresses the significance of adhering to his particular cleaning methods. 
he then gets right to teaching her every step, from finding the batteries to getting all the books. They go to a house later and load some bodies into their truck. Grace abruptly asks if they will pray before they are buried because it is such a delicate process. Ringer makes reference to that he has never done as such, however when the persevering young lady demands he shuts his eyes for ten seconds and chants a couple of words one day as Grace is strolling through the roads, she hears a canine woofing from a close-by house. Being a creature sweetheart, she rapidly goes into the house, brings the small dog back to the library after retrieving it. Dallas shocked to see the pup. However, he allows her to keep it. Afterward, when effortlessness requests help in naming the canine, Dell denies. Therefore, she just names a dog. The following morning, Beauty momentarily takes a gander at a scar on her neck, showing that she has had a grieved past. She completely covers it up with her hair and goes to the library. While Dell is moving some books around, he sees the dog chewing on a magazine. Angered, he attempts to get it, but ultimately gets bitten on the hand. The next day, Effortlessness awakens and observes that the canine is absent. She wildly illuminates Dell about it, and the last option concedes that he needed to let the canine out to pee not long after, as the two were looking through the area, it abruptly first lights on elegance. The Dell has killed the canine for gnawing him recently. Likewise, perhaps on the grounds that their names were too comparative when they got back to the library. Beauty drinks a great deal of wine to suffocate her distresses. She then goes into Dell's room and puts his photo collection on the table. Toxicated state, she brings up that Dell doesn't have a clue about any individuals in the photos and that he regards them as simple items. She then says that the apocalypse happened while she was with a boy. He really focused on her and consistently kept her cheerful. In contrast to Dell, who always raged alone. Grace then storms out of the room, grabs the pictures, and throws them at him. The following day Dell understands his slip-up and welcomes Beauty to a nursery. He clarifies for her that there are as yet many houses that should be cleared and requests her assistance, yet in addition guarantees her that she's not committed to help. Shockingly, Beauty excuses him, mend agrees to help him later as they are tidying up a house, they find a couple of walkie-talkies and begin utilizing them. This assists them with spanning the correspondence hole between them. Also, before the weeks. Over. They are successful in cleaning up every house in the neighborhood. In the following scene, Grace rides her bike on a journey and uses the walkie-talkie to find an unmarked house. She calls Dallas and asks him to come to the location, but shockingly, when he shows up there, he gets profound. It turns out to be Dell's own home, and he hasn't been there since the apocalypse. The carcasses of his relatives actually lay in their rooms. However, Dell is too afraid to face them. Grace offers to assist him after hearing this story. Additionally, Dell developed courage. Together, the two quickly eliminate the entire area and return home. During a vehicle ride, effortlessness endeavors to impart data about her starting points to Dell. The last option additionally becomes inquisitive and stops the vehicle. However, she abruptly kisses him instead of speaking. Bell wakes up the following morning to the sound of laughter coming from the dining room. He is concerned, so he takes out a gun and slowly walks downstairs, only to find a man and a woman who have grace. Dallas was surprised to see other people because he believed they were the only ones still alive on the planet. The man says that Grace is his daughter and introduces himself as Patrick. He wonders why Grace didn't tell them about them sooner. Urges her to uncover reality after some wavering. Grace acknowledges that she does not have real parents, Patrick and Violet. Be that as it may. Her cultivate one's demise sleeves, Dell totally confounded, and he has no words to say when the circumstance becomes off-kilter, Violet breaks the science by requesting that Elegance pack her things. She maintains that they will later return to California, as Patrick discusses his golf. France, Dell is unaware of any other survivors, he realizes. After that, he reprimands Grace for not informing Dell about the tens of thousands of survivors and informs Grace that they have posted signs on highways all over the country to direct people to their community. And since that so much had been kept from him, Dell leaves the house and gets ready to leave. Grace follows him and admits that she does not have parents named Patrick or Violet. She makes sense of that she was allocated to be with them when she showed up in California. Dell communicates his mistake with elegance for lying about them being the main survivors. She also admits that, 
She was worried that if he found out the truth, he wouldn't say stay. Beauty frantically begs Dell to take her with him. Be that as it may, when she attempts to keep him from leaving by clutching the guiding wheel. He takes her hand with great force and drives off. Afterward, Patrick visits the library and asks Dell for book recordings, yet the last option overlooks him. Sort of mental case needs to pay attention to a storyteller, he says. Despite this, Patrick praises Dallas' intelligence and suggests that they could benefit from a person of his caliber in California. He makes sense of that their cooperative has specialists who found ways of opening the capability of the human mind, but Dull, stays uninterested and pompous when he doesn't answer to anything. In case Dell changes his mind, Patrick leaves Dell a book with his address. Grace watches Dell with tearful eyes as they leave the library and head for California. For the next few days, Dell tries to stay focused on his work and avoid any kind of distraction. But then he starts to lack Grace, and eventually develops depression. He occasionally activates the walkie-talkie, eager to hear her beautiful voice. Dell remembers the people in his pictures as he looks through his collection one day. Loneliness overwhelmed, he makes the decision to visit Grace and looks for the book that has Patrick's address. He takes his truck to California after finding it. On his way, he comes across a bridge that is blocked by cars carrying deceased individuals. He does not, however, change vehicles to continue his journey. He eventually reaches his destination after changing a few cars and almost finishing his supplies. Dell observes the family through the glass door, but he waits until the parents go to bed. When the lights in the family room are off, he goes into the house with a weapon close by. In an effort to surprise Grace, he immediately enters her room, only to discover something shocking. Grace, on the other hand, is connected to an electrocardiogram ECG, monitor while she is in a deep sleep. She has also had stitches placed on her neck from injections. Dell quickly wakes her up out of worry, takes out the wires, and apologizes to Patrick for letting him take her as they try to leave. Patrick strolls into the room and orders Elegance to hit the sack. After that, he tells Dove that he is doing everything he is doing to get rid of negative emotions like anger, sadness, and guilt. This will effectively erase all of history prior to the apocalypse. Grace steals Dell's gun and shoots him unexpectedly as Patrick continues to explain his ideology. Poor Patrick is killed immediately by this. Not long after, Violet shows up at the scene with a quiet disposition. She doesn't seem to be bothered by her husband's death. This demonstrates that her feelings have already been affected. Grace leaves the house with her goldfish the following morning and boards a car with Dell, while they drive off. He observes the bustling activities of the town's cheerful residents. The film closes as Dell plays clearly exciting music, and tenderly grins at. Turn on notifications, please subscribe for more videos like this, and like the channel to support it. Thank you very much for watching.